Now, this is what we're going to do on this show, man. We keep it very hot. Yeah. Honest, open, and transparent. So so you know what's coming. Right. Some of the heat's coming, but it's fun too. That's it's all fun right. Too. Bring it on. So so first we're talking about Bayless and say, all these you guys. Used to all back guys in the day. Yeah. You know, this ain't well, nothing. Oh, I, I ain't skipped. I, ain't <laughs> skipped. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I should yeah, cut that yeah, out. Yeah, cut that out. As but, a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna start off like this. Okay. You are undrafted. I, yeah. I know that going into the league. So let's talk a little bit about your football playing career before the league. Yeah. What led you to football? What made, did you ever think first and foremost that you would be in the league? And, and what just kept you going after not being drafted? What kept you going? Yeah. Well, guys, you know, first of all, as a kid growing up, all I loved was sports. All right. I grew up in New Jersey, a little town called South River. And uh, sports was big. Football, basketball, and baseball. That's what I played. And uh, so I'm from Jersey. And the teams I rooted for were the uh, Giants and the Jets, the Knicks and the Nets, the Mets and the Yankees, the Islanders and the Rangers. I <laughs> all of them. I couldn't stand the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> I'm just saying, all right? I got, I got, as soon as they paid me, then I became a Cowboy fan. Right. But uh, growing up in that kind of environment in a house with uh, three other brothers and three sisters, uh, sports was really big to my dad, so he led us in that direction. Uh, after school, he said, no one, none of his sons are going to come home and just sit around and watch TV. You either go to practice or you go to work. Right. All right? So we went to practice. Practice was easy. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> so I love playing, you know, playing all kinds of sports. And then in South River, my hometown, you know, uh, the tradition of high school football was really big. I'm not the first Hall of Famer from a little town called South River, New Jersey. Population maybe five, six. 7,000, and I'm not the first Hall of Famer out, out there. We had a guy named Alex Wojciechowicz. Okay, the, you got to understand, the town is called Little Poland. Right, right. right. So that you had a say, lot of names. That, that, was a, that was a name that you couldn't <laughs> right, pronounce growing right, up. Right, exactly. <laughs> they started calling me that. I thought they were calling me a name with all that ski, <laughs> through ski and all that. Right. But Alex Wojciechowicz, and then my high school, in high school, I played with Joe Thiesman, my oh, quarterback. He okay. was a senior when I was a sophomore. I started at wide receiver. So let's let's I, I have the Thiesman or Thiesman. In in South River, it's Thiesman. Okay. But he went to know the game. He was Thiesman. Became... No, he went to know the Dame had a chance to win the high school. Heisman trophy. became Thiesman. Okay, but there we he go. He changed it. Now the PR department didn't change oh, it. Oh, so it was the him. marketing, it was him. And you gotta know Joey to understand. So, yeah, that. There was yeah. a lot of lies going on about that. They was but okay, well, I digress. No, no, All right, so but it's, back it's in South River, it's Thiesman. Right, got it. Uh but anyway, I you know, I started wide receiver as a soft, sophomore. He was the starting quarterback. The first pass I caught in my verse, first varsity game was a 60-yard touchdown pass from Joe Thiesman. Wow. Ooh. And I caught it standing in the end zone. All alone. <laughs> he was scrambling to his left. I just kept running, and he let that thing fly, and I'm waiting, waiting, caught a 60-yard touchdown. But that's how good he was right. in high school. He was dominant. Our, my, uh, his senior year, my sophomore year, we only played nine games. He didn't have no playoffs then. We are undefeated. We're wow. unscored upon, Ray. You'll appreciate this. I, I definitely unscored appreciate, upon yes. for six games. Yes, I definitely appreciate that. The first four that. games we were unscored upon. So we had a great team. And then I would play the varsity game on Saturday afternoon, 2 o'clock kickoff. The whole game, safety at, on defense, right, wide receiver, never come off the field. And then on Monday, I would play the JV game at quarterback to groom to replace Joey at quarterback. And so when he left, I moved into quarterback as a junior become all state as a senior. And now, you know, now I'm thinking about going on to the next level. And that's but what I got to get to. Baseball right? was my sport. That's right? what I was that about was to my say. Sport. Football was yeah. your, yeah. your second sport. Baseball yeah. was baseball your first was sport. sport. Yeah. So you end up with a great baseball career. Great. What made you choose between the two? Well, you know, when I went to Tulsa, I chose Tulsa over Nebraska. And I wanted to ask, the, how did you get there? How the did you recruiting. get from New Jersey yeah. to Tulsa? Country Tulsa at that time. Oh, too. tell me about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah very cu much a culture shock. Right. That's my dad. God rest his soul. When he took me down there, the last thing he said before he left, he's going to stay uh, 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 over the weekend. He ended up staying a whole week. Okay. And the last thing he said before he left, he said, "Son, you sure you want to stay here?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, my dad didn't let us quit nothing. Right. All right. So, so, that's that, so bad... that was one time you had an yeah. opportunity to quit if you wanted to. Yeah, I, I could have uh, left and you know gone somewhere else. What but made you stay? The reason I knew about Tulsa, I was being recruited to go to Michigan State. 
And the guy recruiting the New Jersey Territory, he was the defensive coordinator at Michigan State. He had the New Jersey Territory. And once that, and uh, through that process, he ended up getting a head coaching job at Tulsa. So now he's recruiting me to go to Tulsa. I didn't even know where it was. I thought it was Tulane, Louisiana, or something. I didn't right. never even heard of Tulsa. Similar name. Yeah, I didn't never heard of Tulsa. But Tulsa caught my eye because they had a great baseball program. They were going to College World Series every year. Gene Shell, the coach, wow. Steve Rogers, who pitched for Montreal for a number of years in the majors, Jerry Tab. And so I said, man. So was that your plan to play that, both? It, guys, when I came out of high school, I was 5'11, 145. All right. So I wasn't see. built like no <laughs> football player. So baseball was my thing. So I was going to let, play, they were going to let me play both. Okay. I chose the, uh, Tulsa over Nebraska. Nebraska wanted me to hair a parent to Jerry Taggy and all that. Johnny right. Rogers so was they there at that you time. As an option quarterback to play at Nebraska. Yeah. Yeah. But you looked at going to Tulsa with the opportunity to play both sports as the better option for you. Yeah. And still at quarterback in football, but baseball was. Center field, all state, you know, 444, my senior year, just saying. So, so, so just, not, not, look, not to brag, but right, right. I was pretty damn good at baseball. <laughs> we, 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 we got, so what, basketball, I mean, baseball, quarterback. Yeah. Now you're a Hall of Fame wide receiver. What transition and when did it happen? Yeah, well, after a couple years at Tulsa, you know, uh, playing, started quarterback, captain on the freshman team. They brought in six quarterbacks. I beat them all. They moved three to defense and all that kind of stuff. Freshmen couldn't play varsity then. So we had a good season. I had a good season. As soon as the season ended, the head coach came to me and said, Drew, you got a chance to start a quarterback next year on the varsity as a sophomore. But we need you to make a commitment to football. And so I sit down with my dad. We hashed it out. Football, baseball, na 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 na. So we figured it'd be easier to go to football, maybe back to baseball, instead of baseball, and then back to football. football. Right. You know, once you get out of the game, yeah. it's hard it's, it's, to it's mental old, thing yeah, to get right. back Absolutely. into that flow. So I gave up uh, uh, baseball for that opportunity to start at quarterback. Ended up starting about the 10th game or so of uh, 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 that season. And uh, then junior year, I'm starting, going into spring practice. They brought in two JUCO All-Americans. They had good uh, uh, spring practice. So at the end of spring practice, I went to the coach and said, hey, I'm thinking about pro football now. I knew I didn't have I the like skills it. to be an NFL quarterback. Right. So I asked him, can he move me to wide receiver? He said, yes. Yeah. So, so he moved me to wide receiver. Remember Ray Rhodes? Yeah. The oh, great yeah, Ray Rhodes from yeah. Mahia, Ray Rose, Mahia TCU definitely. and eventually definitely. Tulsa. Definitely. We were, yeah, we were yes. classmates at Tulsa. So in moving me to wide receiver on the flanker side, the strong side, they moved Ray Rhodes to running back. Wow. And you okay. didn't want to play running back at yeah. Tulsa no, back then. No, not back then. And to this day, Ray is still upset with me about that. <laughs> so, so now we understand yeah. how the legend <laughs> became the legend to becoming a wide receiver. We will be back because it's about to get down and dirty oh, now. Absolutely. Because we already uh -huh. know, look, we know what he's done in his pro. Wait till you see what he's doing after in the transition. We'll be back. Crockett's Corner.